Welcome everybody back to another Chikar Review video. This video is going to be my night one review of the 2010 King of Trios tournament. This night took place on April 23rd in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the arena. Let's get right into it. The show opened with a promo from Matt Classic and the Throwbacks. The Throwbacks, of course, being Dasher Hatfield and Sugar Dunkerton. Um, throughout the duration of this promo, um, Sugar Dunkerton actually did most of the talking. This was an okay promo. They explained that Matt Classic, you know, his gimmick is that he's the one who invented wrestling. But this is okay. Um, as for the match, obviously, the Throwbacks... Uh, these are kind of guys that like to keep it basic and simple. <clears throat> it was an entertaining match. Uh, it was mostly comedy featuring a part where Sugar Dunkerton and R. Kelly music and a basketball. You can kind of guess what happened there. Matt Classic actually hit a sick dive to the outside. Um, I'm surprised he didn't die. Uh, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about when you see it. But this was a nice way to open the show. Uh, very enjoyable. Kind of light on the wrestling side, but very entertaining. And moving on to the second match, which was Team Frightening, uh, consisting of Mike Quackenbush, Frightmare, and Hollow Wicked, taking on Team Big Japan, which was Daisuke Sekimoto, Oka Bayashi, and Hoshino. Um, the early portions of this match was mostly Team Big Japan working over Frightmare. Um, however, after that ended, it did you know, start to get into a back and forth type of match. Um, definitely if you didn't like the first match because it had a lot of comedy and, you know, not enough wrestling, this definitely picked up. Also very entertaining, just a fun match. Um, I really enjoyed this. Uh, I probably actually enjoyed this more than other people will, but just a really, really fun match. Next up was the BDK team of Ares, Claudio Castagnoli, and Tursus versus the Osirian Portal and Sarah Del Rey. Now, most of you probably already know that Team Mexico couldn't make it, mostly due to issues with Jorge Rivera. Um, not to go into too much detail, I'm not sure. I think it had something to do with travel uh, and Chikara basically lost out on a lot of money due to um, Rivera and I don't think they're going to have him back so that's that's kind of sad in itself but they had to find uh, replacements for Team Mexico pretty quick. The Osirian portal obviously were the replacements but then after Bryce chose a name some guy with the BDK I forget his name I think he's like the director or something now like the replacement uh, he replaced Chikarson um, he came out and he drew the last name out of like a black BDK hat and it turns out that um, Sarah Del Rey, a member of the uh, BDK, was going to be their third member to make up the trio. So that plagued them throughout this match. Um, for the match itself, uh, it, was, it was decent. Um, you know, you might think that the crowd wouldn't take this match seriously due to uh, them being, you know, so late in replacement of Team Mexico. But near the end, you know, I, I noticed that the crowd really started to get into it. And, you know, they actually had the faintest uh, idea that they might actually pull it out and win some kind of way. Uh, that really helped the match. Um, but this, this was decent. This was okay. Following that match was... The Unstable versus Team Osaka Pro. Osaka Pro, um, those guys are Atushi, Ko okay, I'm not going to even butcher that name. Daisuke Harada, probably butchered his last name, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Tadasuke, I guess, I'm not sure. But basically, before the match, Team Osaka Pro cut a promo. It was really short. They spoke a lot of Japanese words that I don't understand. As for the actual match, um, I'm not really familiar with Team Osaka Pro. Uh, don't really watch much of Osaka Pro. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen Osaka Pro, but that's besides the point. Um, this match was okay. Uh, seemed like early on it was a little bit sloppy, but uh, after a while it seems like they really got used to uh, each other in the ring and started to loosen up, and near the end it, it turned pretty good. Um, this match was okay to good. Um, didn't blow me away, but still, you know, this is night one. Opening round match, so 
it was decent for what it was. Following up that match was Aeroform and Johnny Gargano versus the Colony. Before the match, Aeroform and Johnny Gargano had a little promo segment. Um, it wasn't too good, but it did kind of reveal that Johnny Gargano might be in for himself, so it did kind of lead up to the match well. And as for the actual match, uh, I kind of got to come clean here. I'm not the biggest Colony fan. Uh, yeah, no. How can you be a fan of Chikara and not like the Colony? Well, I like uh, Fire Ant. I can still remember the match he had with Ben Gerard at, a, um, I think it was the 2008 Young Lions Cup. But um, that's besides the point. Early on in this match, the crowd was kind of silent. Um, they didn't seem like they were getting into it. Uh, but Aeroform, if you haven't seen them, they do a lot of flips and other flippy type moves. Um, I'm not sure how long they've been wrestling, but I don't know. They kind of come off as really like, you know, like they really haven't found their stride yet, but that's just me. Um, some of their moves come off as robotic and it just seems like they choreograph every single part of the match. At times in, during this match it just seemed extremely evident that it was planned out and uh, they'd be setting stuff up and it wouldn't work out as planned and it looked just fake and it, it seemed awkward but you know that's kind of a, a minor gripe as this wasn't you know it wasn't extremely bad to you know hurt the match but this match was just okay. It wasn't anything. It wasn't good or great or anything. It was just okay. But I think what hurt the match the most was the crowd didn't really believe that uh, Aeroform and Flip Kendrick were going to beat the Colony um, as, I don't know, they're kind of favorites in Chikara amongst the Chikara crowd. Following that, we got First Family, Eric Cannon, Darren Corbin, and Ryan Cruz versus Tim Dantz. Pinky Sanchez and Lince Dorado of the BDK, kind of the BDK Team 2 type deal. Um, and this match was uh, mostly good. There were certain parts where the crowd was kind of dull and, you know, certain spots weren't connecting with the audience, but um, for the most part, back and forth, frantic, fast paced action. Just a good match. Moving on to the next match, which happened to be Curry Man and Los <clears throat> Curry Man and Los Ice Creams versus El Oriental, Alabrije and Kuihe. Hope that's how you said. But this match was extremely fun. Um, I wasn't uh, familiar with El Oriental, Alabrije and Kuihe. Uh, they come from Peros del Mal promotion in Mexico. Um, but this match is extremely fun. Uh, I, know I just repeated myself, but it really was. Um, you know, it started out as a really basic wrestling match between Curry Man and El Oriental. Um, after that, the Los Ice Creams were in with Kui Hay, and it kind of transitioned into a kind of a comedy type match. But um, everything they did was funny, and it worked. Uh, <clears throat> This match was a little bit longer than I expected, but it was, I mean, the crowd enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was good. And finally, we get to the main event, which was The Future Is Now, Jigsaw, Helios, and Equinox versus The Jackson 3, Matt, Nick, and Malachi Jackson. Um, I can definitely see why Chikar put this as their main event. Uh, I'd definitely put, say this was match, the match of the night for uh, night one of the King of Trios. Malachi actually, I thought, held his own. There were a couple of, you know, there were a few errors, but nothing over problematic that would, you know, really hurt the match, in my opinion. But I, I really enjoyed this. Um, I'd say it was uh, very, very good. I, I wouldn't put it at great, but probably around three and a half to three and three quarter stars. With lots of dives to the outside. Um, lots of arm drags, of course. Uh, just good, fast-paced action, what you would expect from these two teams, and it was very good. So my overall thoughts for uh, night one of the 2010 King of Trios tournament. Um, there wasn't really anything that I would say was truly great. However, there wasn't anything bad, and the entire show flew by fast, and it was extremely entertaining. Um, it was everything night one should be. You had some good matches to very good matches. Um, 
few matches were okay and kind of, you know, just there, but that's what um, is kind of expected for night one. Overall, I'd give this, my score would be a 7.25. Um, that's going to do it for night one. Night two will be up soon.